nice change for the sport. A second entertaining heavyweight fight this year. The other one, of course, was Lehman Brewster against Sergey Lyahovic. A very entertaining heavyweight fight. The winner of that one, Lyahovic, is here tonight to see if maybe one of these two guys wants to fight him. Lyahovic, originally from Belarus, now living in Phoenix. Owner of the heavyweight title belt as the result of his victory over Brewster. Good left hook by Moskaev. Backs Rachman off. Another good left hook by Moskaev. Rachman still seeming to want to get close. And try to impose his weight and his will on Moskaev. Good right hand by Rachman. Punch domination there by Moskaya. Momentarily stopped Rackman in his tracks. Good left hook. Once again, the left hook, the most effective punch all night for Oleg Moskaya. He's landed some right hands, but not nearly as frequently as he's landed that strong left hook on the jaw of Rackman. He's also done better body work than Rackman has. Can a heavyweight title holder win on a jab? Left hook again lands for Moskaya. Rockman needs to re start rallying now. This is getting too close right now. He needs to really stop, bridge the gap. Lennox, if I see him, Rockman loses a decision to Oleg Moskaya, it's hard for me to believe that we will ever see him within range of ruling the heavyweight division again. I'd have to agree, agree with you. Now Rachman grabs and holds Moskaya blatantly as Moskaya landed two more heavy shots. All of a sudden, Rachman wants to go backwards after that. There's a swelling Stop. outside the right eye of Hasim Rachman. That is clearly the product of those successful left hooks by Oleg Moskev. And there's another left hook by Moskev. And a left hook on the jaw. And Moskev still isn't throwing that left uppercut Stop. that Victor Valle Jr. is asking for, but the left hook has been very kind to him in the 11th round. Stop. And Rachman hasn't found anything as effective yeah, as really Moskev's well. left hook. Really now, Jane Nady okay? sees a, a low Tell blow. Box. And Moskev says, or Rachman's ready to fight. And Moskaev gets in two more shots before the end of the round. So Rachman chose not to take any time to recover from the low blow. And we've got one round to go in Las Vegas in a very interesting fight. Okay. Okay. Now give me a deep breath. Give me a deep breath. Give me a deep breath. Give me one more. Okay, this is the last round. Last round, Give me a spin, brother. This is the last round. Okay, come on. Come on. All right, come on. Come on. Last round. Okay. Last round. Oleg. Last round, baby. Last round. You're doing good. Papa, the mama, so this is the last way to cheer. Давай, за родину. Keep them in the middle of the ring. Keep them in the middle of the ring. Let's go. За папу, за маму, за детей. Go to the 12th and final round. Is this not just the twilight of American heavyweight gods, but the nightfall of American heavyweights? Three minutes to go. Asim Rachman rallied in the ninth and tenth rounds, outlanded Oleg Moskaev in both of those rounds, seemed potentially be headed home in the fight. Moskaev is rallied in the tenth and eleventh. Outlanded Rachman in both of those rounds by a 45 to 31 margin. And now we're going to have a tape problem on the glove of Rachman, and there will be a delay, which gives Moskaev a little bit more time to rest and prepare himself for these last two minutes, 34 seconds. Time in, says Jay Nady. Stop! 
Oleg Moskev looked at the beginning of the fight as though he wasn't concerned with winning rounds. I even suggested that it might not be important to him. Oh, maybe in position. Oh, oh. Or not Rockman out. The left hook started the damage. Down goes Rock. It is a knockdown. And Rockman's trying to argue today that he was pushed down. No, he got knocked down. Hook started the damage. He got knocked down. Then Moskev knocked Rockman out again. For dear life. A near Rockman. tackle by Rockman. He's got to make it through a minute and a half just to finish the fight. Oleg Moskov may be headed for a two point round in the 12th. An exhausted Rockman doesn't seem to have the firepower to fight back. And after Nady spent so much time warning Moskov about holding, Rachman's trying to hold to finish, and Moskov is trying to knock him out again. <laughs> Solid right hands by Moskov. Well, he's Winning far around in a landslide. And he's far enough away that he's not going to fall in our laps either. For the moment, Rachman is still rocky on his feet. His feet are not there. I'm telling you, he's going to get knocked out in this fight. Oleg his legs are gone. Never and that's play. it. Won't it's over. It is over. He's won the fight. Oleg Mastaev has another knockout of Hasim Rahman. Where have, you, where have you gone, Joe Lewis? A lonely boxing nation turns its eyes to you. All four heavyweight title belts belong to fighters born and raised in former Soviet republics. So if the heavyweight division is dying in America, it is alive and well in Eastern Europe. And if you think this is not an exciting time for the heavyweight division here, you'd feel differently if you were from Kazakhstan or Ukraine or Russia, or Belarus. This is how it all started. It started with a left-right combination on the chin that wobbled. Rockman just couldn't get his balance back from there. This is where he's hurt. Here's another look at it from a different angle. And here's the stoppage, Lennox. Right hand, boom. Right hand, boom. Right hand, boom. So he finally knocks him out with the right hand, but all night long, it was the left hook that set it up. Absolutely. I think that was uh, a wonderful performance at the end of the day or the night by Maschia for a 37-year-old guy to outlast a 33-year-old guy. Once again, taking advantage of, of, of Rachman's problem with stamina, which he's had through his entire career. A sturdy, willing, intelligent fighter who simply wouldn't give up in the fight. That's Oleg Moskaev. He wouldn't give up in his career when his former trainer told him he ought to quit for his own health, that he couldn't stop power punches anymore. He wouldn't give up in this fight when Rachman appeared to be out jabbing him and out landing him early in the fight. And he gets his second knockout victory over Hasim. Here's Michael Buffer with the official particulars. Ladies and gentlemen, here in Las Vegas, the Cinderella story of heavyweight boxing comes to life at 2 minutes, 17 seconds of round number 12. The winner by knockout victory and new WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Oleg, the big O. Once again, your four heavyweight title holders, Oleg Maskaev, born in Kazakhstan, raised mostly in Uzbekistan, now a resident of Staten Island and Sacramento, an American citizen. He beats natural-born American citizen Hasim Rahman, despite having landed 66 fewer punches, having thrown 117 more punches, and landing at a significantly no lower connect percentage.
Rachman had a big advantage in chance. Landing at twice the connect percentage, nearly three times the connect percentage of Moskayev. But Moskayev was just pawing with the jab, trying to set up left hooks and right hands. And that's how he ultimately won the fight. Landing more power punches than Rachman. Landing at a lower connect percentage, but working, trying, continuing to come on. And particularly landing big left hooks in the 10th and 11th rounds and body shots in the 10th and 11th rounds that set up his ultimate destruction of Rachman in the 12th. A late KO, one of the most exciting things you can see in boxing. Here's Larry Merchant with the winner. Thank you, Jim.